Hello amazing leaders and welcome to day 11 of our 90 day challenge. How are you getting on with yours? What are you doing? Let us know in the comments on whatever platform you're listening to this on. Mine was to record 90 podcasts in 90 days. Uh, I'm also trying to make a video every day of that as well to be able to share with you on different social media platforms. But you can check out the podcast, search for it as Amazing Leaders on any of the platforms you listen to podcasts on. So we're looking at a little sort of mini series within this 90 day challenge and we're looking at amazing 3D goals. And the 3Ds are dreams, description and a date. And that dreams part <clears throat> is really, really key, I think. I, I really hope you have dreams. I hope you have amazing dreams, not just ones that when you sleep at night, but ones when you're awake during the day. Dreams to be able to improve yourself, your environment, uh, and, and everything for the people around you. So today we're gonna look at job and career 3D goals. So have a think about what you're currently doing and where you'd like to be. And this is a really good one to set yourself for a different timeline for, to have short and, and almost instant goals that you can tick off this week, and maybe slightly longer term ones for when your next appraisal is, and then two, three, five, ten year goals, and maybe a career goal as well. Where would you like to be at the end of your career? Um, maybe you're never going to end your career, never going to retire, but whatever it is, set these goals down. And this is a way that you build up hundreds of goals is by taking a subject like this and like the others we've looked at and the ones we're gonna look at over the next few days as well and making it so that you can have short-term goals, even very short-term goals, uh, medium goals and longer-term goals and then we're gonna look at legacy goals as well towards the end of this section. So what is it you're currently doing? <clears throat> Make sure you're happy in that and that you're being fulfilled every day in what you're doing. If not, I would encourage you to look for something else that's gonna fulfill you because life is too short. So once you've got the thing that you want to do, then make sure that you are contributing as much as possible to that company. Um, maybe you can set a goal of promotion. You know, Maybe there's different levels within your organization that you can go up through and try and be <clears throat> the youngest or the person that's been there the least amount of time and that's got that promotion to that next level or whatever it is. And again, if there's multiple levels within your organization, you can set longer term goals to work your way up through those. One of my goals that I don't mind sharing with you was to be MD of the company now that I'm now MD of. And I set a date for that and I actually achieved it earlier, a lot earlier than the date I'd originally put down, which is a fantastic feeling when you can tick off a big goal like that as well. So whatever it might be, whatever level you might um, want to go to as, as a next level or jump a level, whatever it is, set yourself a goal. And what the goals do is really, they draw you to it. They get you asking better questions. They get you thinking differently about how can I do that? How could I jump two levels? No one's ever done that before. Is it even possible? So whatever it might be, put the goal down, make sure it's written down somewhere, make sure you've got a date by it of when you want to achieve it, <clears throat> and then go for it. A short-term goal could be something like contribute more in meetings. Maybe you're, pers you're a person that sits back a little bit and then other people come up with the ideas that you had in your head. And maybe it's just one idea that you want to contribute in a meeting. And that could be a short-term goal. Have you got a meeting coming up this week? Whether it's a virtual meeting or a physical meeting, make sure you suggest your ideas before somebody else does. See what reaction you get from that. So that could be a shorter term goal. And then you could have different stage goals of that, contribute two things and then three things and so on and so forth and see how that improves your chances of promotion as well. There's another thing that you could do is to suggest new ideas or new products for your business as well. Come up with those ideas. Be the person that's driving new things in your organization rather than just going along with everybody else's idea. I had to put it in here, but one of the things that we could do is to become an amazing leader. And I think that should be on everyone's list. Hard one to know necessarily when you have got there, but put it on there. Maybe it's a longer term and a legacy goal that when you look back, people say you were an amazing leader, which would be a fantastic thing to have as a goal. Other things around jobs and careers, and this is really important, and this has really helped me in my life and continues to today, is to join a mastermind group a group of other like-minded people that are in business, 
don't have to be in the same business as you. It's actually better if they're not, if they're in other businesses, because the reality is all businesses revolve around people in one form or another. So join a mastermind group, join the best one that you can afford, try and push yourself to um, be in, in the group that actually you're you know, the dumbest person in the group. That's what I try to do, which isn't very difficult. So join a group where you've got excellent, amazing, elite people that you can learn from, you can ask questions of, they can support you, you're accountable to them as well. If you can't be part of a group, then maybe try and be mentored by an amazing leader. Uh, and if you're an amazing leader, then mentor another person coming up through the ranks as well. But I love mentoring. Again, I'm mentored um, by a few different people and I look for people that are older and wiser um, or have just got more experience in a certain field than me and I learn so much from them. Have a think who's around you that could mentor you. Maybe it's a family member who's got more experience um, than you. Maybe it's another colleague at work um, or somebody in one of your hobbies or social groups that you could ask. There's lots out there. I just please say, just be careful <clears throat> who you ask because it is a relationship that you have to form over trust and one that can really, really help you. I'd love to help mentor you if you want that. So just give me a shout. I'd be very happy to help if that's what you'd like to do as well. How about become an expert in your field? So whatever that might be, become an expert so that people go to you for advice. They're not going to anybody else. See how that changes your chance of promotion and your career because you are the expert, the go-to, the number one person. How do you become that? How are you going to know? Maybe it's an article that's written about you, maybe it's a blog post, maybe you're invited to speak at a webinar about something. But whatever it is, put that as a goal, set a date by it of when you want to do it and then see how the universe conspires to make that happen for you. And then depending on what industry you're in, <clears throat> what job you do, you can have goals that are easily monitored. It could be sales, it could be delivery targets, it could be expanding your company into different fields. Um, whatever it is, set goals down for with numbers which are really good, you know, to sell more than X number of units or X number of pounds or dollars, um, to deliver a number of, you know, whatever it is you're, you're producing. And that can be service-based too you know, to mentor a thousand people, whatever it might be, have it as a goal, write it down, put a date by it, and then see if you can exceed it in some way. Um, and then the last thing really is try whatever you're doing to really help and grow your business and others around you. Don't be selfish, be giving, be outwardly focused on helping others. Zig Ziglar said that you can get anything you want in this world if you help everybody else get whatever they want in this world. So think about that. How can you help today, short term, medium term and long term, grow the business you're working for and grow the other people around you? I think if you focus on that, then your career goals will also come to fruition as well. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope you'll have an amazing day. And remember, why be average when you can be amazing?